In this edition of Eureka Engineering HC Solutions, we will look at question 24b, part 3 from the 2015 HC paper. We are required to find the magnitude and nature of the force in member AC. Now to do this, we will employ the method of sections. So let's begin. Hello and welcome. In the previous two videos, we looked at calculating the reaction force at A and the reaction forces at B. Now in this question, we are required to find the magnitude and nature of member AC. Now to do this, we need to incorporate method of sections. So we have to make a cut through the member in question, which in this case is AC. So cut through AC. Now when we cut through AC, we need to consider which side we want to analyze. So in this case, I'd like to analyze the right hand side due to its ease of calculation. So, first step, make a cut. Two member AC, consider right hand side, angle three. Diagram. Now, when we make a cut, those members that have been cut will, will automatically create a force. So, we'll draw a free body diagram. So, we've got BC, that's a force. We've got AC, that's also a force. This is D, E, So the force here, which is AF. Now, I can do now. I can now do some moments about point E. By doing some moments about point E, I can get rid of this force here, AF, as it goes through the point. I can get rid of BC because it goes through the point, and I can also get rid of the horizontal component of AC as it also goes through the point, and this force here as it goes through the point. Hence, these forces will not create a moment. However, the vertical component of AC will create a moment and that will be our only unknown. But before that, we need to find this angle. Now, when we refer to the original diagram, we have a right angle here. We know that this side is equal to this side here. So it's an isosceles triangle. Therefore, this is 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. And so this angle will be 45 degrees. So now I need to create my vertical component of AC. So, create a triangle, this is a right angle, this will be 45 degrees. Now, this side will be sine, because it's opposite over hypotenuse. So that will be AC sine 45. So, the equation will be sum of moments about point P equals zero. I consider anti-clockwise to be my positive direction, my positive moment. So I've got this one plus five, one plus five. So I've got this force, 1200 units, times its perpendicular distance, which is three. So 1200 plus 100 times three. And then we have the vertical component of AC times its perpendicular distance. And that will be AC sine 45 times perpendicular distance, which is 3, equal to 0. Now it's just a matter of simple algebra. AC sine 45 equals negative 3600. AC equals negative 3600 over 3 sine 45, which would give you a value of negative 1697 newtons. Now, because we got a negative value, that means we've assumed the direction incorrectly. So all we need to do is just change the direction in the opposite in the opposite way. So therefore, AC equals 1697 newtons. Instead of going this way, it's now going that way. Now because the force is going towards the joint, we consider that to be a compression force. And that's how you do question 24B, part 3, 2015 HC. Thank you.